Plasma 5.26 beta has been released and you might ask, well, firstly, what's that? So, you know, we're working on KDE Plasma 5.26. It's the ne next release. It's going to be released in October, if I recall correctly. And of course, a bit before, roughly one month before the release, we published a beta to make sure that everything is in order. Everything can try out the beta, report the bugs and make sure that everything works. But all big features in theory should be present within the beta at the time of publishing so that you can actually have one month for uh, bug reports but also translations. So this is the beta. And uh, secondly, why do we care? <laughs> and uh, fair enough, usually I only publish videos for the final release and not the beta. But I did actually want to talk a bit about the beta itself uh, because we have some slightly different changes compared to the usual, namely big screen. And I've seen a lot of pe uh, people ask, okay, how do I use big screen? I am not going to answer that, but I'm going to actually showcase some of the big screen apps, um, mostly because I haven't understood how to use big screen either, but that's a different story. Before we get into that, though, uh, there is one important news that I want to talk about, which is Kdn Live, uh, Kdn Live sorry, found. So basically, just today, they have uh, launched this uh, fundraiser, and they actually explain throughout what they're going to do with uh, the money that you give, uh, implementing nested si um, timelines, sorry, more efficient workflows, performance boost, and you can donate one time monthly annually, so you have complete freedom and you know what where your money is going and Kidding Live is the editor that I use a lot daily actually and it's very important to me so I actually decided that um, all the earnings that I have this week are going to uh, go to the Kidding Live Found and I would suggest you to go check it out too since so it's not like it's sponsored or anything uh, it's like like just important to me that you know that there is this fundraiser so go check it out please, please consider making a donation because it's an open source project that's extremely important for KDE as a whole, so check it out. But anyway, we were talking about something else entirely. This is the beta announcement. And differently from the Plasma 26, uh, five, sorry, 5.26 announcement, uh, it's not really meant to illustrate all of the changes and it is boring by, <laughs> by design. And here you can see that it starts with Plasma Big Screen, which is something that betas usually don't do. So it's interesting. Mostly uh, from uh, this section, we have Aurora Browser and Plank Payer. These two are two new applications that are meant for Plasma Big Screen. What's that? It's a Plasma interface for your television. So doing apps for that means that they only should work with your remote. And on a laptop like this, this means that they only should work with the arrow keys and enter. So let's actually check out these two, starting with our browser. This is our browser. Now, does it actually work just using arrow keys? We can actually switch between the most commonly used websites. And going up, we have a search or type URL, and we do have a big keyboard that we can very easily use just like this. Let's type QWERT as an example. So this works. You also have the ability to speak to actually um, get your command understood by voice. And this in theory is powered by Mycroft. Right now I don't have that installed. And you also have options here at the top. Again, I'm doing all of this just using the arrow keys. So it is rather impressive. In here you've got the sidebar to quit and close the menu right now, not much. The tabs this, we can add a new one, I guess. I thought I'd seen that, but I don't see it right now. Um, history, bookmarks, like this, which are also the ones that you currently see. And then settings, which is interesting. This all setting, again, is uh, completely navigable through arrow keys only. So it's, it's interesting to see how an application is made just using, uh, just meant for a remote. And all of the interface is actually navigable just using the arrow keys and enter. And I think that actually takes a lot of design thinking on how to achieve that. So I just wanted to say good work on uh, the development of, of this app and I hope to see the Plasma Big Screen number of apps to increase. The next one, 
And by the way, I'm also going to talk about some stuff that's happening in Plasma Desktop too, so don't worry, there's also things that you can relate to if you're not using Plasma Desktop. But there's also to showcase Plank very quickly, which is a video player. Again, it is completely designed to make sure that you can just use it through hierarchies and uh, enter. You take this, but you can, oh no, okay, sorry. You can uh, select here and bring uh, the progress bar back and forward, just like that. You can lock stuff, full screen and exit application, just like that. It works very nicely, so very interesting development. Then about Plasma Desktop, again, I'm going to keep uh, a full throughout review of Plasma uh, Desktop 5.26 when it's actually released, but there are a couple of changes that you might be interested to just to know that they are happening. As an example, you can now drag widgets to be bigger and smaller just by dragging from the corner. Now, uh, some people might ask, um, didn't we have this already? Kinda, kinda kitty, kinda had that, and then it got removed, and now it's kinda back, but it's better, um, it, it's implemented in the correct way, whereas before it wasn't tried the correct way. So Windows, you know that Windows, you can uh, resize them just by drag and dropping like this, but you can also do that by pressing Alt and using the right button, something that I'm unable to do with one end. And that was the same for applets in the past. You could not change their size by just drag and dropping here, but you could use the Alt and two fingers, or, or sorry, right uh, button to resize them. Now, that was kinda hacky, and there was no user uh, intuitive way to actually know that you could alt and right click to resize them. So it is nice to see that now it's correctly implemented, you can just resize any in any way. Of course, not each one is going to be perfect, like this I think works well. This one, like this, no, this one d doesn't quite work, but I mean, it's interesting, you do have still minimum and maximum sizes, but it is an interesting development, it is something that was very asked for, so it is very nice to see that this is implemented. Again, there's more changes to go through and just one other that I want to quickly highlight and then we're just going to end the video and come back to all of the stuff when it's actually released. But you can make kickoff more compact, just like that. You go into settings and the list is going to be more compact. Personally, I think that the non-compact view that you also see when you search now is nice enough, but you personally prefer smaller things, that's fine too, and you can use settings for that. So for today, that's everything. If you're interested in Plasma 5.26, uh, it's coming, very close. You can test out all of the new features uh, in the beta and tell us whether they actually work or not. That, that would be useful actually, and if you want to get involved in KDE, that's a very good way to do so, but if you do not want, then it's just one month of waiting and then everybody will get all of these nice features. So let's stay in touch, I guess, and see you tomorrow with another video. Fuck.